Hey everybody, it's me, Jennifer Perkins. Welcome to Crafts Kitchen and Kids with Jennifer Perkins. I have been saying I am gonna start doing this on a regular basis for forever and a day. If you follow my page, you know that I've been saying it on and on and on again. Whoa, I've got some crazy hair going on. But I really mean it. It's a new year, it's a new me. I'm totally gonna do it. So hopefully today at one, you saw my live video over on DIY Network where I talked about how to make marbled paper. We made it with shaving cream, it was a lot of fun. I will post, hi Vicki, thank you for watching. I will post the link to the video in the comments so you can figure out how to make marbled paper. However, any kind of paper will work when learning to make an envelope really super duper easy. The reason I wanted to do this post today in conjunction with earlier marbling post is it seems like if you're gonna go to all that trouble to make an envelope, that you might as well take this one step further and make your own paper, am I right? I know, okay, so making an envelope is very easy. There are lots and lots of different ways. You can look them up on Pinterest or whatever, and there's all kinds of you know dimensions and all kinds of things. Hey, Krista, thank you. I'm so glad you liked the video earlier. Like I said, I'll post it in the comments. This is what I did with that paper. A lot of people over on DIY Network were like, show me how you make the envelope, show me how you make the envelope. Well, this is where it's gonna be. So like I said, there are tutorials on the internet all over about like where to cut, where to do this, whoa, 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 whoa. Well, lucky me, randomly, Fiskars, I'm gonna like straight out say it, sent me this board thingamabob, right? And I looked at it and I was like, there's so many numbers, it's scaring me. There's so many numbers and there's measurements and things have to be exact and I have to use a stylus. But it was really easy. If you know me and my crafts, I'm not a measuring kind of guy. I am a cut twice, measure once kind of person. But this tool is actually really easy to use. And this is what I use to make my envelopes out of the marbled paper. So let me show you how I did it. And guess what? Fiskars was nice enough to give me an extra one of these boards to give away. So I'm gonna give it about a week leave me a comment, tell me like what kind of card you'd make, who you'd send a valentine to. Hi Dawn, hi Betsy, I'm so glad you guys are watching. Oh wait, Dawn says she loves repurposing calendar paper. Ooh, that would be cute. Good call, good call on that one, Dawn. So, leave me a comment, tell me who you'd send a letter to, what you'd make an envelope out of, you know, just whatever. And I will pick a winner in one week from today to win their very own Fiskars board because not only does it make envelopes? It also makes bows and boxes. What? I know. I haven't tried those other ones yet because I just barely conquered envelopes last night for my video today. So without further ado, let me show you how this thing rolls. So the first thing you need is it comes with this handy dandy little guide. It's got this little sliding thing here, right? So it's going to tell you if your card size is four by five and a half, which is what we're going to do, then your paper size needs to be seven and seven eighths by seven and seven eighths. And then it tells you where your ruler position is. And by that, it means this ruler position. And I am not going to lie to you. I had to have my husband come in and mark on here. Let me see where it is. He marked on here where it is and he marked on my ruler because that's how I do math. Anyway, I digress. So first thing, you need to pay attention to what is my paper size, seven and seven eighths by seven and seven eighths. Well, if you have a standard piece of paper, this paper that I marbled, I actually did this with my six year old son. It's a lot of fun to do with kids. Take your ruler, measure that sucker out just like that, just like you would think, and then cut it out. Just use your scissors and cut that baby into the right size. Now this is all contingent on what size card you have. Now you could make an envelope for a ready-made card, like let's say you went and you have a whole bunch of ready-made thank you cards, but you wanted to make special envelopes, but you could also make a custom card, obviously, to go inside your fancy new envelope. Totally up to you. So I have this one that I have already cut. So let me flip my camera down and I'm gonna kind of show you how this gizmo 
works. Now, obviously, it comes with all the instructions you need. Hi, Kara. Hi, Allison. Thank you for watching. Okay, so let's see. Allison says correspondence is a lost art. I totally agree. And you know, April is letter writing month. So you might as well start now making these envelopes so you can write one every day. Betsy says, I love numbers. Well, Betsy, I know you do, Miss Stem Knight. Me, not so much. I can cut that yarn for you, but besides that, that's about it. Okay, so let me flip this down and show you how this little doohickey works. Okay, so can you see the board okay? So as I said, you have your little chart, right? And so it's told me what size paper I need according to what cart, what size cart I'm gonna have, and then it also tells me my ruler position. So what that means is this edge, I wanna make sure you guys can see this, this edge needs to go at that point, which is three and three eighths. So put it there and punch this, okay? And then there's a line right here, and it comes with this stylus. And you find that little lane there and you go all the way to here okay so that is step number one the next thing you do is you kind of no longer pay attention to this number over here now this little line here this little groove is gonna be your guide so you spin that around and here is another little score line so line this up find it with your stylus when you feel that you're in there you punch it again, okay? And then I'm gonna find it over here, and you're gonna mark it. Now these score lines are where you're gonna fold your envelope, okay? And so see, and I'm turning it counterclockwise, and when I punch it, it's doing this, okay? So let me flip this up really quick. All right, so once you do that all four times, I have one somewhere around here that I have already done all the way around with, right? I've got these little crevices where I punched. It's gonna tell you exactly how to punch. It's really easy to punch. And then you can see here where it's scored, and this is making it foldy. Now the next step is, once you have this all done, this is your basic envelope, you could leave well enough alone. Hi, Linda, back for part two. Yay, I hope you guys aren't sick of me. Are you like, dude, how many times are you gonna go live today? I've seen you on Facebook and Instagram. I'm over you. I don't know that I'm going to do these evening Facebook Live things anymore. It's a lot. Once the kids come home and dinner and I had nephews here all afternoon, whew, it's a lot for me. Okay, so I've got this. There's one more step. Let me flip it back down. Okay, so we've come this far. Put your corners in here. This little part right here is a corner punch. And guys, I have to tell you, corner punches are like the gateway drug to scrapbooking tools. The first time I got a corner punch, I pretty much fell in love. Hi, Laurel. Sick of you? Never. Let's see. Pat says, watching from the hospital. Oh, no, Pat. I hope you're okay. I just spent all last week at a hospital with my mother, so I feel your pain. All right. So, now I have rounded my corners. Look how cool that is. I love rounding corners. And you can put pictures in there, too. It's really awesome so that is what i did with this little part you just put it in and it rounds the corners and that is strictly an aesthetic thing that is not like a necessary part of this tutorial but it does make it look good all right next part folding it's really that simple so you fold this in hi marisol thank you for watching i'm so glad you think i'm amazing it's really it's this little board that you could win that's amazing not me okay so see look at that hello sign sealed delivered i'm yours very cute right but why not take it to that next level with a liner yes yes because why not add more pattern to it right so actually i went with a solid color so what I did is I opened my envelope up and I did this number, okay? Let's see, Justine says, I love your videos. Corner rounders are the gateway drug. They really kind of are, I gotta tell you. Once you get a corner rounder, I once took a zine workshop with all these like cool punk rock kids and I brought my corner rounder and all the like punk rock kids were like, what is that? Like they were so amazed at a corner rounder. Like I think they all ran out to the craft store after our zine making workshop and went and bought them. 
Okay, so I turned it in reverse because this is the shape I want. And I just laid this on a piece of paper and I cut it out, right? I guess I need to round my corner because right now I forgot to round this piece. So this is what is gonna go right like that, okay? So let's just round that sucker right quick. And by the way, you guys, if you're seeing like beanie boos and like kid stuff all around me, I'm filming this in my eight year old's bedroom. That's the most quiet room in the house right at this minute because gosh knows she's not in her room, she's in my room. So here you go, so it's round. And the next thing you need to do is use your friend the glue stick and attach it on here. So let's do that real quick and I'm gonna show you how to glue your envelope together. Not like it's that technical on how to glue things. Let's see, Dawn says, oh yes, a liner. Stephanie Lynn said, ooh, a liner. I know, why not do a liner? Because like I said, if you're gonna make a handmade marbled piece of paper and you're gonna go to all that trouble, you might as well make a handmade envelope out of it, right? So, I'm just gonna use some good old Elmer's, nothing exciting, nothing fancy here. And you guys, I can't wait to hear in the comments when you are leaving me a comment, that's how you can win one of your own little Fiskars gift boards here. I can't wait to hear like what your ideas are for how to use this thing. Like, would you try the cards out? Would you put it in your gift wrapping closet? and use it for gifts? Are you gonna make like bows for all your presents? I'm kind of excited to try out all the other options. Okay, so got that. Don't forget, I know it's all purple and crazy, but it's gonna dry clear. Don't you worry your pretty little heads. All right, so kind of get that straight, right? So there you have that. And how you fold your envelope on this part is totally up to you. Do you like this flap that way? Or do you like this flap? This away. You do you. It does not matter. So go like this. Whoops. And go like this. Seal it up. Seal it up. Ta da! Then let's fold this back. Zoink, zoink. Ready for the mail. It's pretty awesome, right? I was kind of impressed. I was like, what? I used a tool with numbers on it. So what if my husband had to come in and mark those numbers for me? I still used it. Cara says, I wanna, uh, I wanna make thinking of you just because cards to mail. Absolutely, or thank you cards. Over on DIY Network earlier, someone mentioned that they were saying like teacher cards, like teacher appreciation cards, Christmas cards. Hey, Laurel, I'm so glad to see everybody here for this maiden voyage. So here is a card. Let's see if I made it so that it'll fit. Right? I made this one earlier today over on DIY Network. This was something you, else you could do with the marbled paper. And don't forget, I'm going to post in the comments. If you didn't see that video earlier, I'm going to show you how to make. I'll post it in the comments so you can make your very own. All right. There it is. Boom. Find you a forever stamp and pop this little sucker in the mail to a loved one. Easy, 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 and you can make it too. Like I said, I'm gonna leave a comment. I'm gonna tell you how to make marbled paper. This is how you make an envelope using this doohickey, this cool Fiskars tool. Leave me a comment. Tell me what you do with it, and in a week from today, I will pick a winner, and Fiskars will mail you your very own because they're cool like that. So, any hoodle. Thank you everybody for watching. It really means a lot to me. If you have a fellow letter writing friend and you want to share this or any of that kind of fun stuff, go ahead and share this with them. They'll appreciate it. And hopefully I will see you again within the next year on my own page broadcasting live, but probably not on a Thursday night. It's a lot of live in one day. So I will see you guys sometime soon. I will keep you posted. Bye. Thank you for watching.